get in my tum. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. First and foremost, huge apology if you have been watching my channel a while and have been following me on Vlogmas. Y'all, I've had an absolute nightmare the last two days. I'm being dramatic, it's not that bad. Life can be so much worse. I was chatting with my brother last week and we talked about ways I could increase the, the quality of my videos on my iPhone. I'm hopefully getting a new camera for Christmas. Santa baby, get me a nice camera to vlog. So we changed something in my settings on my iPhone, shot all this video over the weekend, shot video yesterday, and went to upload stuff on Sunday night to my computer and it just, was not uploading. And if I did get it uploaded after like 900 hours, I would get it into my editing program and it was really, really choppy. I couldn't figure out what was wrong, but I was so frustrated I wasn't able to post videos for you guys. And finally last night I realized I was like, it's in my settings, it's the way I've set my phone up, it has to be. So I got in touch with my brother, we set everything back. Basically, this is all my brother's fault. So I'm gonna put his address below and you, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and I love you, Tom. Yeah, that's why I haven't been putting videos up and I hate it because I was so into Vlogmas and I still am. So the videos are gonna be coming again, now that I've got everything sorted. In this video today, we are going to be talking about how things are going in my mental space with IVF. Now, if you're new to my channel, hello. My name is Eileen. I have had seven miscarriages and my husband and I are getting ready to start IVF. I have had ups and downs through the whole process. I find that laughing and joking around helps me navigate through these waters. I don't like my videos to all be super sad, although that does happen from time to time, as you will see in this video. So to catch everybody up, we had planned to start IVF a few months ago in October, but then poof, I got pregnant again and had another miscarriage. So that put it off another month. And then the following month I started, I had to go through a whole cycle. Then I got my period again and the doctor was like, well now because of Christmas, we can't do it because not all the right doctors are gonna be here with the timing. So that's where we are now. This past weekend, I had a rough, rough dip. I mean, day to day, I'm pretty good with everything that's been going on with us. I'm sure a therapist could delve deeper and find that I'm not 100% okay. But every now and then I just have days or it could come in like a two hour chunk where I just dip really low. In Switzerland, everything is closed on Sunday. There's just not much to do. I find myself I dip on Sundays and I don't know if it's because like in my mind, I think like it's just the three of us, there should be another child like catches up to me, I don't know. I do really, really well, considering we've had seven miscarriages. But every now and then, the weight of it really, really hits me, and sometimes I just can't, I can't pull myself up. Most of the time I can, but sometimes I can't. And today is one of those days I'm really struggling. And when it's just Patrick and I, I have to pull myself up because I have to be able to hang out with him and be a mom and do all that mom stuff. But when Andy's here, he can watch him. So I'm just gonna lay down for a while. I have made a cup of tea, maybe sleep for a while. I should go for a run, but I just don't feel like going. Just, oh, it sucks. We were talking about like goals for 2019 earlier. Everything hangs in the balance of IVF. What 2019 ends up being is determined on whether IVF works. And to be honest with you, both results are good because if it works, then great, we have a baby. But then if it doesn't work, there's a huge fallout and then we move on with our lives, you know? It's the purgatory of having a little bit of hope that it might happen, but suffering all these losses, like still having the, but what if, what if things turn around? What if I get pregnant, you know? And if it doesn't work, then at least that's it, you know? And can start to like move on with our lives. Obviously I want it really bad, but in a way I just, I just want it to be over. This whole chapter, it's been going on for two years and I'm ready for it to be over. I'm ready to just move on with our lives one way or another, you know? I prefer the happy me, don't you? Definitely prefer the happy me, but today, I can't get it up, guys, sorry. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. So you can see, it gets really dark, but I am so lucky that I have an amazing, incredible husband who is so patient. I mean, 
I cannot even tell you, I can be crazy. And especially with all this, I feel sometimes like I'm losing my mind. Sometimes I'm like, who was Eileen before she had seven miscarriages? I don't even know that girl anymore. I want her back, but I'm just in this really weird space and Andy is, he's the foundation for everything for me. So, so lucky that I was able to talk to him and we kind of both together said, look, let's just go for it in January, do everything we can to be prepared and we'll see what happens. So to bring you up to speed, I am due to start my next cycle on Christmas Eve. Last time it was Thanksgiving, which is so funny if you saw my video in November, and now it's the birth of baby Jesus. I start my cycle. Ah, it's a Christmas miracle. Anyhow, we're going to be in the UK when I start my cycle. And I, this is where Europe or Switzerland specifically and the US is so different with IVF. I am sure in the United States, they would sit you down probably in a comfortable leather chair <sighs> with a doctor behind his desk and you would chat about how it's all gonna work. You'd probably get a beautiful printout printed on a color printer with a digital pictures to go with how the IVF cycle is gonna work. You'd have a 24 hour number you could call if you have questions and you'd probably get a cup of coffee attached to your pamphlet about IVF. Here, it's just not like that. I mean, they've said, email us when you start your next cycle. Then what? Like, then what happens? I only know what happens because of research I've done online and other YouTube videos. So shout out to all the IVF ladies out there. You have helped me so much through this process. I finally emailed them because Sunday was like so dark. I was like, I just, I mean, the realization hit me Sunday that I might be in the UK in this critical window and I might have to wait another month. And it was just too much for me. Like I was not feeling it. So Andy and I chatted and we're like, you know what, just email them. Email them and say, look, what's the deal? When I start my cycle, what happens right away? What do I need to be prepared for in this process? So I emailed them and luckily they did email me back straight away and said, look, you're gonna start your cycle and then within the first five days of your cycle, we need to do a blood pregnancy test to make sure you are not pregnant. That's number one. Then from there, they'll give me hormones of some sort. Everybody in the States that I've talked to or seen on YouTube has the injection shots, but here it's a pill apparently. So I don't know, it's quite different. But the big takeaway is I'm okay if I start my cycle on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, I still have a five day window to go to the hospital and I will make that because we are coming back on the 27th. A big thing for me and this that's causing some of my dips and sadness is my weight. I am not happy with how much I weigh right now. I probably weigh more now than I've ever weighed in my life aside from when I was pregnant. I could lose a good 15 pounds plus maybe even a little more. It's a really bad excuse, but in my mind, I'm like, I'm not gonna kill myself to lose 15 pounds right now when I'm hopefully getting ready to be pregnant. So I'm just like, I've probably talked about this on my channel before, but now my weight is reaching a point that I'm like, I have to do something about it after the holidays. So I, I want to go through IVF to know if it's gonna work one way or another so I can really get my weight under control. And it's something I need to devote more time to on this channel because then I'm accountable. I started like a little running thing a few months back and then just kind of like stopped doing it. I need to, in 2019, I need to focus the channel, focus the areas we're gonna look at in my life and the weight is definitely one of them or a pregnancy, we'll see. But that's another thing that with the IVF, I'm like, I just, one way or another, I just wanna get on with my life. I wanna get my body back. And I could see somebody commenting saying, well, just get, get your body back now. What are you waiting for? Like life is happening while you're waiting for this IVF. And I, I get that, but I know that IVF is right around the corner. I can hear it. Is that, is that you IVF? Yes, I'm coming with my hormone needle. <laughs> IVF is right around the corner, so I'm not, it's not a priority until I know it's happening one way or another. And once IVF is done, if it works, great, I'm pregnant and let's all eat pizza for a few months. But if I'm not pregnant and IVF's not gonna work, then I need to get my shit together. Blunt, plain and simple. No more excuses in 2019, sister. Get it together. I know you love that Swiss chocolate, but come on. Come on, you're fit. And here's another thing, I wear leggings every day now, but I wear them like I'm super fit because I am in good shape, I just look like crap. So I wear leggings, cottage cheese chunks and all. I should just hand out spoons as I walk down the street so people can just get some of that cottage cheese. I just don't care. 
Ugh, I need to lose the weight, that's it. So that's where we are. We're waiting for IVF still. I've gotten that email this week. I feel a little better uh, than I did at the weekend and I'm just hoping for a good cycle start on Christmas Eve. Come the cycle, pum 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 pum. An IVF baby will be created, pum pum pum. Get in my tum. <laughs> My cycle will start and then we'll start IVF. If you are new to my channel, thanks so much for stopping by. I have a plethora of videos on this topic. If you are experiencing recurring miscarriage loss, I am so sorry. It is such a nightmare. And I really hope that you get to your rainbow baby soon. If it's through IVF or adoption, or you are able to hold a pregnancy naturally, which would be incredible. I'm just, I'm, I'm with you guys and uh, hang in there. And you can also find me over on Instagram. I'm at Eileen Vincent. Thank you so much for watching. I promise I'll be back tomorrow. It's Vlogmas, y'all. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.